it would be okay. What is it? The there, there's a couple of those Chick fil A boxes we didn't need, and I thought if I put them in that cooler, would they be that's safe enough to take home? That's good. No, they should be safe. Yeah. Because there's no mayo on them. They should be fine. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll live by it. It can survive in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's like, we're having a little time. You know, whatever. A little fireworks before the 4th of July. I think that may be fun. Next week. Next week. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if you guys want this at all, but I have a copies just of what I'll be asking if you just want to keep track. But I don't know if you need one. These are all the same. Yeah, I just have a few extra. It's just for us. It's not hers. Okay, sure. I'll Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Sorry, I was just waiting for Amanda to come back. Yeah, I'll let you know what's for. Jada. Sorry. I'll take notes as we're going through this. Okay, yeah. But and it's being recorded, but also anything else. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll probably take some notes too. But yeah, that'll be good. Very good. Pretty, pretty used to conducting focus group will be something new, but after doing 13 interviews. Much be, I'm much better. I know I'm much better at discerning. It's, it's, for me, it's, there's not much more value than you can get to going through these different research methods and doing them. Yeah. Because once you do one, it's like you really understand. You know, you can read about it in class right. and talk about it and be like, oh, it makes sense. But yeah. Until you do it, it's, Every year. It's, for years that yeah, yeah, no. For years, we both have sets of notes, and we'll have lots of things to compare. So now, even after we met, after we talked about that, we said, "Hey, I was just waiting for Amanda to come back, and then." I don't, I don't want to explain this twice, but it's not a test, don't worry. <laughs> but some of it might look familiar from what you... Does anyone else need to use the bathroom or stand up and stretch? Yeah, I know. As we were driving down here this morning, and Dr. was like, oh, we're, we're going to get on and get a few things. Anyone come? I was like, yeah, let's stretch my whole body. But... Sonia, how's Junior doing? I see Katie every once in a while. Oh, do you? Yeah. She uh, <laughs> actually, Dr. Furman just wrapped one up. They do these things called practice reviews. 
and Katie organizes oh, yeah. those. Okay. So she, he just finished working with her and she just asked me to be on one. So I'll, uh, it's over in the College of Education. We're doing a review of some of their programs. So I'll be working with Katie for the next several, probably take us about a year to get through it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, just, it's a <laughs> arduous process. Yeah, she loves it everywhere. Yeah, she seems happy. Seems good. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Freeman. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt. Okay. I just want to make sure. So this will it stop and start every 30 minutes or so then or well I I'm gonna I'm gonna be moving my hand around <laughs> and try to keep this thing alive. But it was dumping out a couple times on us earlier. Okay. during our conversation but it may have been because i wasn't messing with the mouse so i'm gonna I, i'm gonna try to stay on that. okay yeah i'm pretty sure it's on the 30 minute timer because i was on my computer most of the day and it was like every 30 minutes i had to re-log back in so i just wanted to make sure well i mean it's and it's it's capturing everything right now it's wonderful anytime somebody talks it's right on the person you know it's right where it is it's looking good but i just hate that about the to dumping us off, you know? Yeah. Would you be able to record from your phone as a backup? Um, that is potentially an option. However, my phone has a battery life of no one. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to stay you. on for the entire time. I have an audio recorder that's already on here. Oh, well, I think, Dr. Speaker, are you going to turn your phone on? Or yeah, yeah. I was going to say, ahead. yeah, my, my phone battery, I usually almost always have it on low power mode because I'm moving around a lot and uh, I realized that it dies very quickly. Okay, you're good. Okay, perfect. Well, it looks like everyone is back. So I'll just reintroduce myself again really fast. My name is Jade. I think I have conversed with most of you either in person or via email several times over the past year. So I also work with Dr. Peak and uh, my research is on school gardens, well, farm to school, but primarily school gardens and how they're being used. Um, across the state and in the classroom and yada, yada, yada. So the uh, document handout scorecard that I passed out is the tool that he referenced earlier. Um, it's called the green tool, which I thought was kind of a fun, probably intended name for a kind of a garden evaluation tool. Um, and what it does is it has four different domains. Um, so resources and support, physical garden, um, student experience and school community domain. So on the questionnaire that I sent out, um, there was 19 questions and then there was also a confidence question that each one came with. And what that was doing was um, taking all of these components and putting them into questions. And so at the end, hopefully what you have is like a nice evaluation of where your garden stands uh, right now. So that's kind of what this is about. I just have a couple of questions that'll reference it. So I thought I might just provide it. So it makes more sense or to refresh your memory depending on when you uh, took the handout. So what I'm gonna do is just, uh, <laughs> we'll have more conversation. Mine is just a focus group. So there's not any QR codes or anything like that. So does anyone have any questions? Okay, perfect. So uh, I wanted to first start and ask, I know on the survey, this was a question and I think everyone here uh, provided a nice paragraph of what they did, but I wanted to ask how you came to be working with your school's garden. So was it experience, interest, part of your job because you're the ag teacher? Yeah, so mine specifically just because I was the ag teacher. They already had the stuff there, but they fought it all with the intention that they were getting an ag teacher who would take it over. And previous years had like started some of it, but um, they had kind of fallen out of taking care of it. So I was like interviewing, they're like, this will be one of your duties is running the school bar. With mine, um, um, we actually built the 